bad that this is what I could say consider my job right now as a high schooler is, is insane. So I want to say thank you. It really means the world to me, and I actually have no idea where I would be without you two. Because I'm gonna be brutally honest with brutally honest with you guys. You guys have changed me in so many ways that you do not understand. Like, if it wasn't for you two, I don't know who I would be. I have always had this issue when I was younger on being myself. I always put on an act to be the quote-unquote cool kid because i wasn't confident in being myself and i've went through a lot of tough times when i was younger uh, to the point where you know it, it feels hard it was really hard um and youtube was my way it was like my coping mechanism you know um, and i feel like the reason why i also didn't really like what it was originally at first was because of how how much how much i got bullied when i was younger and it really damaged like my self-confidence in myself so youtube was a way for me to rebuild that self-confidence in myself where i can go back to school being the person that i want to be than this fake persona that i'm putting on just for for people to like me you know and i just have i just have you guys to think uh to, to be the person that i am today um because of y'all so thank you thank you so much because i you know when i think about what where would i do about youtube it's kind of scary if i want to be honest you know there is moments where i was depressed and you know i didn't admit that you know because if you guys don't know i'm, a, I'm an only child uh, I don't have any siblings, and when I was growing up, I have never really had friends. So during the times where, you know, I went through this depression arc and, you know, I didn't really have anyone to rely on to, to help assist me go get through my depression. Uh, and I've had multiple times where I thought about, like, killing myself. And it was only because of YouTube that I didn't go to that level i didn't actually commit to you know what's up greg welcome back to my channel i hope you're all having a great day this is another episode of bad ads or badads it's badads i've talked about bad instagram ads specifically for mobile games a couple times before in videos and i never really expected it to become a series but they just keep getting weirder and weirder and people keep sending me them and obviously I save them because they're so weird and now I've got enough to make another video so uh, here it is. I swear whatever company or like marketing agency makes these ads on Instagram like watches my videos and they're making them progressively more and more weird so that I make videos about them. And guess what? It's working because I, here I am making a video about them. They just keep getting weirder and weirder like they're evolving. Okay, this has got to be one of the weirdest ones I've seen. It's a little game. It looks like you just go around and eat people's paints and make your pile of paint bigger. Pretty normal looking game. And the caption for it is, only 1844 kids will get this. Uh, there's two possible ways that this could be interpreted, and I'm not really sure which one they meant, but both of them... Zero sense. The first interpretation is only 1,844 kids will get it. As in, like, only this very specific number of kids will understand what this game is all about. And if that's what it means, then why would that be true? Why would only 1,844 kids understand this game? It looks pretty simple to me. And how could they possibly claim to be able to guess how many kids would get it? It's so specific. And then the other interpretation, obviously, is only 1844 kids will get this. As in, like, only kids from the 1840s will understand this game. Which definitely isn't true. It's like one of those 90s kids memes. Like, only 90s kids will get this game, but instead it's targeted towards kids from the 1840s who don't have any concept of what mobile games are they don't even know what phones are i feel like of the two interpretations this is the one they probably meant but i can't even begin to understand why in god's name they would do this kids in 1844 would be utterly confused by this game if you went back to 1844 and showed this to a child they would think that you were a witch and they, and they would run away maybe the people who developed this game are witches and iOS developers? Only kids from 1844 will understand that we are witches. 
And we develop mobile games. I don't know, that just seems like a bit of a stretch. I just don't think kids from 1844 would want anything to do with this game. Not to mention the fact that they're all dead. So even if only kids from 1844 did get this game, congratulations, you've designed a game for dead people. And dead people can't play mobile games. What a horrible business strategy that would be to design a game that's target demographic, or I guess only demographic, is people who have been dead for well over 60 years. Do you see what I mean when I say these have gotten weirder? I guess the formula of if you do this, then you're legally this has gotten too predictable and now they've got to switch it up even more. Make you question your whole existence even more by trying to tell you that kids from the 1840s will enjoy this mobile game more than you. Maybe it's like reverse psychology. It's like, oh, you don't want to download this game. You won't get it. Only kids from the 1840s will get this game. And you were born in the 1990s. You've got no chance of getting this game. Oh, I think I just understood what it is. I just turned on the sound of this ad. I didn't realize it had sound and it's playing something in Morse code. <laughs> what the fuck? Okay, if anybody understands Morse code, please tell me what this means. If there's any kids out there from the 1840s, please help me decipher what this means so I can make sense of this ad. I can't believe they put Morse code in the ad. How would that make anybody want to download this game? Real men don't get wet. Okay, this is another one of the weirdest ones I've seen. So up here, you've just got a screenshot of the game. It looks like a brain teasers game. It's, it's trying to test your mental skills. It's just a bunch of wine glasses, and it says, whose glass will fill first? The weird part about this one is the caption of the actual Instagram picture, which is the only app on Selena Gomez's phone. What? This is the only app on Selena Gomez's phone? She doesn't have, like, 